this week we are going to have one goal. We are finishing our kitchen once and for all. But first, some homemade ice cream. Mm -hmm. Banana ice cream. <laughs> You're so cute. It's very refreshing, actually. Hey, hey, hey! Since you stole my spoon, I will have to eat with a fork now. So today I'm going to be in charge of the most important thing, ceiling, and I'm going to start with these two drawers. And I will be building and assembling stuff, starting with the most important part, our coffee corner. The next part is staining the doors of the cabinets and since I injured my thumb, Rodrigo is actually helping me to put some tape that we don't stain all of the wood, only the plywood. And after that, I can apply the sealer on all of it. Good. Hello. <laughs> Come in. Adelante. Who's there? <laughs> is it right? Oh, you hi, say, you say, Do you say adelante? When sí. somebody you want when somebody to come in? Pase por favor. Pase? No. And if you don't want them to come in, you mm -hmm. tell them no me jodas. How? What? No me jodas. <laughs> what does that mean? Stop annoying me or stop bothering me. <laughs> hey. I don't want to be rude. <laughs> Some people deserve. Okay. Some people deserve to be rude. <laughs> okay. Now we need some stain. ¿Qué cosa? Abre, por favor. ¿Qué abro? Um, this thing. Este. Esta cosa. Esta cosa. Okay, here is your okay. lesson of Spanish. Okay, please, yeah, I would love to. In Spanish, we have one, one word mm -hmm. that you can use every time that you forget the name of something. I know, esta cosa. Cosa. Yeah. Coso, cosa. Coso could be anything, cosa, whatever. This door, it's a cosa. This knob, is a cosa. Freddy could be also a cosa. <laughs> no, of course not. But yeah, when you forget a name, when yeah. you forget a word for something, you say esa cosa. Mm -hmm. Good. Esa cosa. Okay, you want me to open esa Para. cosa? Mm -hmm. Gracias. De nada. Por abrir. Living off the grid is not as easy as it looks. We rely mostly on the power of the sun to get energy for our house and also to use our power tools. And when there is not enough sunlight, well, to put it simple, there is no power. But on the bright side, we wanna give a big shout out to our friends at Anchor Solix who have sent us this baby, the Anchor Solix C1000. This is a 1056 watts per hour power station that can be recharged up to 100% of its capacity in about 58 minutes. It can also be recharged on solar energy from 0 to 100% in about 1.8 hours when connected to a 600 watts per hour solar system. 
It could also be used as a small backup for your house. Or to light up your camping trips. Or basically, anywhere where the sun hits. We love how powerful this power station is. It's so easy to move around. It's lightweight but powerful. And it's well equipped with a lot of outlets so you don't have to worry if you have many things to plug in at the same time. And it's also equipped with USB type A and C so you don't have to worry about forgetting your adapters and you can make sure you can power all your devices right here on this power station. And it also comes with a car plug. And the best part is that Anchor Solix has a special offer for Black Friday. So go check them up and enjoy the Black Friday special deal. And enjoy huge savings on your Anchor Solix C1000. We will leave the links in the description of this video so you guys can go ahead and check it out. And a big thank you to Anchor Solix for sponsoring today's video. I think we're gonna have to stop working now. Fred is already asking for margaritas. <laughs> and turns out that we have Tequila! <laughs> We're gonna get wasted and not work. So responsible, right? Oh, we are going to work. I think that's the better option for now. What are you preparing over here? Just some um, spaghetti and tomato sauce. Mm. Like nothing, nothing. Spaghetti. Nothing crazy. Can I have some spaghetti? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. That's, that's actually how we would say it in German spaghetti. Spaghetti! Good job. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I have my own bartender at home. Wow, that smells good. Here you go, ma'am. Enjoy your, your margarita. Thank you very much. As we can go out, go to the party, we will bring the party to the house. <laughs> what are your thoughts on margaritas on Monday? Perfect. I mean, that's why it's called Monday, right? <laughs> it's a Monday margarita. <laughs> Like, it's obvious, isn't it? <laughs> and I will be the responsible adult that only drinks a cup of tea. Good morning in the morning. Yesterday evening, Rodrigo and I we we're both super exhausted but this morning my energy is back like the, the cold is still there to be honest <laughs> but it's a lot better I feel I feel super good and I think since it's not raining it's time for a little morning walk with the puppies okay I'm on my way it's such a beautiful morning. It's not really sunny, but the air is just wonderful. I, I noticed that I'm still out of breath, like super, super quickly. But since fresh air is very important when you have a cold, I try to, I try to do at least one little walk each day. Are you having fun? Are you happy? Are you enjoying your morning? Hi, little baby. Good girl. Hey. This is something that I can definitely not get enough of. Just walking around in nature, you just hear the birds, sometimes the puppies breathing, my own footsteps, and a waterfall that is somewhere, somewhere close. And I just love it. I really, really love it. Hi, beautiful girl. I'm back home and I'm really asking myself if there is anything better to come home to this view. It's so beautiful, really. I can't believe it. I still can't believe it that this is home now. It's crazy. I'm back home now and I think now it's time for a nice big cup of tea. favorite little roommate. 
Hi. But don't tell Rodrigo that I said it, okay? I think there is nothing better to start off the morning with a nice walk in nature, a good book and a delicious cup of tea. So far my morning has been very productive. Rodrigo is still gone and I got a little task. This is how our stove currently looks like and I think it definitely needs a little deep clean. I have to admit that the cleaning of the stove didn't really go too well to be honest like there is a little improvement but i'm not really happy so i guess i'm going to ask rodrigo for help later but i mean i at least tried and it is a little bit cleaner as it was before so i'm kind of happy after so many days of being sick i finally got my productivity mode back and i was waiting for a sunny and slightly windy day it's finally here so i was able to wash some clothes and now i want to let them dry and right now i'm a little bit concerned about the clothes because the weather changed within like two seconds. Uh, it was nice and sunny, blue sky, but right now it's getting really cloudy and foggy. I just hope, I really, really hope that it won't start to rain, fingers crossed, because I really don't want the clothes to get wet again. So let's hope that it stays dry for at least one or two more hours. I will take the wrist, but as you can see, it's already gotten really, really foggy. But actually out here, it can guard our clothes the best way possible. And if it starts to rain, I am here immediately to rescue our clothes. Oh, I'm so sorry for you, honey. I'm so sad. <laughs> this was, you know, Two hours ago, perfect weather, blue sky, sunny, and now I feel the raindrops falling. Rain is coming, all our laundry is outside, wet still, so we're gonna have to do yeah. some sacrifices around here. And I have been waiting for good weather since days, and days and days and days. <laughs> Every morning I was waking up like, can I wash today? Can I wash today? Thank you. This is our last little bit of propane that we have and we're gonna have to sacrifice it to dry over clothes. After this tank is empty, we're gonna be completely out of propane. So no more cooking in the stove and we're gonna have to start cooking with wood on a fire stove and try to do our best. <laughs> I was gone for almost all morning because I was getting my Christmas gift. Christmas came early this year. Got my saw. This is gonna make my life so much easier. I have been wanting a saw like this since a long time ago, and my dream finally came true. Check this. Oh, when I was a kid, I used to get excited for toys. Now that I'm an adult, I get excited for tools. But this was possible thanks to someone who saw me suffer in the last video of me cutting stuff with my little circle or saw. Her name is Dorota Caetano. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but thank you so, so much. You just have made my life so much easier and I really appreciate it. Lola is also happy. She wants to see what's inside the box. Life is beautiful! <laughs> I've got a saw. Honey, I got a saw. Happy man. I got a saw. I'm so happy. Woo! Wow.
Okay, let's use it. This looks beautiful. Oh, like, I know. Like, I, I am not getting this excited about tools yet. <laughs> but this one is beautiful. Like, Honey, it's, it's I, a saw. And it's, it's a color that I like. Yeah. Yeah, true. It's a color that I like. True. I can feel your excitement. And, and that makes me happy. <laughs> wow. We got a so Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's a perfect cut. Ah. Oh. I'm so happy! Yeah, tell me from, from 1 to 10, how happy are you? 95. From, from 10? Yeah. Out of 10? Perfect. Look at that! Wow, wow, that yep. is super precise. This is the level of precision that you achieve when you have the right tools. Look at that! Look at that, it's the perfect size. It's the perfect size to go in there. I don't, I don't think I even need to put screws on it. It's just perfect. I just put glue and it's, that's it. I'll put the screws anyway, but it's just, it looks so good and so precise. preparing the kitchen for the painting or actually Rodrigo is preparing the kitchen because he's so kind to help me with that and you know but, that right, people right my love okay he's not even listening but yeah we're preparing the kitchen with today. some tape and plastic bags trash bags actually <laughs> that singing is beautiful and yeah then we can start to paint our kitchen at least she's having fun at work. That's the most important thing, right? Let you know that people. <laughs> I guess everybody living knows. for today. <laughs> I think everybody will know what you're singing. Huh? Everybody will know what you're singing. Oh yeah. That was an obvious one. <laughs> wow, this is too bright outside right now, but. The light was super beautiful, it was, it's raining and the sun came out. Haha, <laughs> What? static energy. Ooh, show me. Ooh. That's so cool, show me. static energy. Oh, it's ticklish, <laughs> woo! <laughs> I like static energy. So, tell, tell us, which color <laughs> is the kitchen I'm going to have, is it green? Is it yellow? Is it it's pink? It's gonna be a dark color. Is it pink? What you told them? What told we're gonna keep it a secret? Sorry. I bought two gallons of pink I spoiled, I spoiled the color, I'm sorry. It's gonna be a pink kitchen. <laughs> we already decided that. Since yeah. I couldn't have a pink toilet, I wanna <laughs> have a pink kitchen. You wanted a pink toilet? Yeah. You never told me. Oops. <laughs> Welcome to our new kitchen. We are introducing our latest design. This is inspired on trash bags. <laughs> this is fashion. This, our kitchen is almost done now. Like this is almost the final result. That's how it's gonna look like at our kitchen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We are just getting ready to start painting our kitchen. And if you thought that we were gonna leave it on that color, well, we may no. have some news. It's gonna be pink. <laughs> and this one right here is the pink paint. But for some reason, when you pour it, it becomes gray.
Let's go, Freddy. <laughs> Let's go, Freddy. <laughs> Thanks for cheering for me, or however you say that. Just have to be careful that I don't fall. <laughs> oh, I'll get you. I'll catch you. Before. Okay, perfect. I got your back, honey. And I'm still a little, little handicapped. So if somebody's out there who's a specialist for it's probably the capsule of my thumb. This is what I think. Um, yeah, I need help. We can just cut it off and put a wooden one. <laughs> <laughs> we finished the first yeah. layer of paint in our kitchen. And it really looks different. Yeah, it's before we used to such have a big difference. Before we used to have dark walls all around there and now we put this some sort of light gray. Yeah. What was the name of a of a color? Not Metallic sure. I, techno. I, I forgot I forgot. It's, 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 it was something with gray. Yeah. It was like some one of these like crazy gray degradations. Yeah. But it's looking nice. This is only the first the first layer. We're gonna do two layers total. We're doing waterproof paint to make sure that our walls don't break down and all of those beams that you see over there and that and this, all this is gonna be covered in wood as well as a framing all around the window that's gonna be all made of wood and it's gonna be very well sealed so we don't have problems of wood breaking down. That's a perfect 45 degrees angle. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then when you put two 45 degrees angles, yeah. you get a 90 and you get that beautiful pattern. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh, you look so happy, baby. Got that's, that's very a saw. That's very cute. So while the paint is drying, that's gonna take at least one hour because we don't have much wind and we can't open the doors because the insects get inside and they're gonna go into the wall right away. While the paint is drying, I'm gonna start working on placing the last drawers on this section of drawers right here. Get all this done with the little face plates on the front. Okay, put the last piece. We are painting our kitchen. And I have to admit that I'm already a little exhausted. <sighs> we are doing the second layer now. We are gonna, we're only gonna do two layers because this paint covers a lot on the first two layers. And we think it's gonna be enough. What's going on here? Rod. <laughs> <laughs> of course. You are crazy. <laughs> yeah. We just finished the second layer of paint and so far I have to say <sighs> that I'm pretty happy with the result. But I'm also very, very exhausted. I think I will go to bed very soon. And I guess you will continue, like, I don't know, for how long. You, you are crazy, do you know that? I'm dead, I'm so tired. Yeah, I but I, I want to finish this, yeah. so I'm just gonna keep going. You wanna get it done? Yeah. Freddy just went to bed and I'm just clocking in for the night shift. I got a lot of work to do in this cabinet. My goal is to have this whole thing ready by tomorrow morning. So probably be up until really, really late tonight and I'm up for the challenge. <laughs>
We are so close to finish all these little doors for the cabinets. That's one of the last things that I'm missing and I am getting there. Already got two of them done. Freddy is already asleep. I don't want to make too much noise. Oh, it's looking great and I still have a lot of energy. Hopefully, I will get this before 4 a.m. For the final and long-awaited moment, we're gonna install the little doors. It's actually only 12.30 and I already got all these cabinets. Right there, ready, all done, it's assembled, it opens, it closes, it's working perfectly. It's missing the stained, but we're gonna do that tomorrow. Also, we're missing some boards I wanna put in there. <sighs> this is coming along so well and I'm so happy, but also, I'm exhausted, so I'm just gonna go to bed. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Boyfriend is having chocolate for breakfast. <laughs> I was hungry, and our kitchen, it's still closed. Not open for business yet, because we still have to do some more work over there. We need to do some shelves. And that's what we're gonna get started on right now. Good morning in the morning and welcome to a new day on Lola's farm. There's a rat inside? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. What are you doing there, Rudge? <laughs> Hi, little rat. <laughs> Did you believe me? I thought it was a rat inside. <laughs> Where do you get a rat from? <laughs> Good morning, beautiful puppies. Good morning. How did you sleep, baby? How did you sleep? Perfecto. Would you look at that? <laughs> You're already getting your excited face. This is probably the last screw of us building this kitchen. Hopefully, fingers crossed. This is the last thing that we have to put. Ah. Done. I think it's ready, honey. I think yeah. it's ready. To be revealed? Yes. No, it's not gonna be construction. It's gonna be destruction. <laughs> like, <laughs> Is that a dad joke? <laughs> Maybe. Like for now, you know? It's okay. time for the big reveal. Yeah. I know, we know that you guys have been waiting for it, but we also are very impatient. Yeah. Just to unwrap all that paper and see the final result on how our kitchen looks like with all the cabinets, all the little shelves over there, yeah. and also with the paint. We're very excited and very happy to yeah. do this. So, yeah. let's get to it. Yeah. Finally, our kitchen's coming back. Wow. 
that was smooth. Woo! Wow! Honey! <laughs> That's so yeah. beautiful. It matches the whole like gray. Yeah. And the tiles, you know. That was a good yeah. choice of color. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Love it! Yeah, amazing. Now the little cabinets. <sighs> yeah. Oh, please. Hold it. Wow. First things first. <laughs> <laughs> right now it is. Because Rodrigo was keeping me away from coffee. We had all this cover, I couldn't do anything about Since it. yesterday. I just went for the records. For the records. <laughs> so all this is what we did. Just we put all these little shelves so we can store stuff in there. Also we painted everything, all got all the cabinets ready over here. We got all the stuff ready. Everything assembled, opens and closes. Ready, ready. And all around there, this is shelf and storage to put stuff. We can store some dishes, like plates and stuff like that, or whatever we wanna store in there. We also have a lot of space on the cabinets. This is looking awesome. Yeah, I'm loving it. I was just saying earlier that it's so crazy to think about a few weeks ago, there was just nothing, not even walls, just nothing. And now, a few weeks later, we have a full kitchen. And a beautiful kitchen, you know? That's the magic of building stuff. Yeah, and it's, and it's not even, it's not even, you know, renovating or it's... It's, it's creating. Yeah, it's just, there's nothing. You it's, just build something up and yeah. it's beautiful. It's a white, how do you call that? A white piece of paper? Yeah. And then you, you have a painting. After, you color after, it. After, after some time. Yeah. I'm loving the color. Honestly, yeah. I think that was a good choice because yeah. it makes it more... It makes it look bigger, actually. More spacious. Yeah, of course. Of course, like the brighter it is, I yeah. guess. Yeah, it lights it up. It lights it up. We're loving it! Hello, my love. We have something over here. It's the first coffee prepared in our new kitchen. You Woo! want it? Yes. How, how much you want it? Give it to me. How desperately. <laughs> Give it to me. Here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Don't slurp the coffee. Don't slurp coffee's the coffee's life. This is life. Honey. Yeah, I know. Cheers. Cheers. Love you. <laughs> Love you too. And you are wow. You are <laughs> not not only the head, but I, have, also I already the I already colors. have the Christmas spirit. Yeah, on but me, also you know? the the red and the green. I'm Santa. Perfect. I'm I'm ready for Christmas. I've been ready for Christmas all year long. Actually, in the one of the next videos, we wanna start decorating. Oh, I got Twinkie lights already. Yeah, true. And we gotta get a Christmas tree so Roger can destroy it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna leave it here. It's been awesome. We got our kitchen finally ready. You now we can really start putting all, all our food in there and start doing all the crazy stuff that we'd like to do. And soon we can start a new project. Ooh, that's true. That's stay, true. stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> we also want to give a big shout out to Angry Solix for sponsoring today's video. Thank you so much, guys. We really appreciate it. And we have. We still have that super unrealistic goal, <laughs> or maybe it's not that unrealistic, of reaching 100,000 subscribers. So please subscribe if you haven't done it yet. We really would appreciate that. And yeah. We love you guys so much. We love you guys. And we'll see you on the next one. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.